You think he's a plane? It kind of looks like a bird. Ah! Nice. You, you like, like him. him. No. Jinx! I mean, I, I, I like him. Yeah, uh-huh. I meant professionally, Jimmy. Yeah. You like him professionally. Uh-huh. See me winking again? That suit up is incredible. How do you not say that that's so cool? Hi everybody, I'm the Idea Maker, and today I'm going to be reacting to My Adventures of Superman Season 1, Episode 3, entitled My Interview with Superman. So last time that we left off, Clark is starting to figure out his Kryptonian roots while Jimmy and Lois are still trying to track the Superman stories. Well, mostly Lois, but using Jimmy as well for it. But for her to try to be able to get that story in so she could be able to be more recognized by Perry. And then we also have these bad guys that they're trying to ship these robots and these weapons to some other person that we don't know about at this point. And at the moment, we now know that Deathstroke is working with Amanda Waller, which of course she is part of Task Force X. She's part of the Suicide Squad. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to happen into this. But anyways, as we dive right on into this episode, we are about to uncover more of the mysteries behind Clark's Kryptonian roots. And we'll see... If if he starts to be managing his newfound abilities more and more. So let's go ahead and dive into season one, episode three of My Adventures of Superman right now. Oh man, we're gonna start off like this? Okay, interesting. Oh, I'd be freaking out like crazy. No, I'd be freaking out like crazy. That's why I don't go on planes or any of that. Come on, Superman! There we go. There's a fire on the blimp. We have to- uh Oh! Oh! Oh no! He got it? Did he get it? Of course he did! Of course he did. Is everyone okay? I don't think I don't think so. Uh, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> I'd like All to right. interview you for the Daily Planet. Uh, sorry, no comment. Uh, gotta go, gotta go take care of that blimp. <laughs> oh, so she's been trying to interview him for a while. Then at this point, where's this? What? Whoa! Ah! How many times do I have to tell you not to use our real names while doing crimes, Roughhouse? I mean, isn't that the point? I mean, I don't want to give any advice on that, but I mean, you guys are pretty dumb criminals if you guys are really using your names. Yes! Oh, so she gets to use our names? <laughs> okay, you're all idiots. Let's just put it like that. You guys are all idiots. Amplify sound. Oh, no. Drop your weapon. Here we go. I said no! Ooh. Yeah, let's... I think she was pretty clear on that. I love this intro, too. It's so anime, and I love it. It's like how, how in animes, they don't even use these scenes in the actual show itself, but it's just for the intro. I love that they did it for this show, too. It's just, it's pretty awesome. I wonder if they're going to change it for season two. Hello. Oh. 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 Oh, wait, his, uh, his heat vision. I didn't see you. I, I, I mean, I did, but I, I, I got you coffee. Uh, uh This is from Wade's Cafe. You said it was your favorite. I happened to jog past. Uh, That's clear across the city. Uh-oh. It was a long jog. Are you sure you're okay? Uh -huh. Thanks to you. Uh-oh. I've been trying to interview Superman, but he keeps running away. Seriously, what is that guy so scared of? The way how you worded he things? want you to find out all the secrets and publish them? Probably. Saying yes to an interview is simple. Here, look, I'll be me and you pretend to be Superman. I mean, that's pretty easy. It's a pl it's a pl it's a pleasure, Miss Lynn. Uh, uh, Clark, come on, with a little more confidence. It's a pleasure. Uh, <laughs> I want to know more about you. Uh-oh. Uh. If it was within my power, I would do anything for you. Lois. Oh, wow. Speaking from the heart. Uh, <laughs> 
What's going on? You're getting scooped is what? Uh um, Allow us to introduce okay. ourselves. Oh no. What? You guys have to have intros? You had introductions? Oh my god. Introductions, huh? Cat Brand. If you can't say something nice, darling, then come sit by me. But not too close. Uh this is I'm not doing this. Yeah, I, I wouldn't either. I wouldn't either. I apologize about Steve. Mm -hmm. He thinks scoop means to steal. Which it doesn't, Steve. It just means getting a story before another reporter. Yeah. Not the murder. No, 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 wait. That's just unfair. Harry assigned us the Superman beat. Ah. You got a lucky break, but Perry wants real reporters on this. Ooh, yikes. You know what? I mean, I can I, even though that I don't agree with Lois trying to expose Superman and everything like that. I really don't think that they should have done that. I mean, that's really unfair of them. Then we'll have to beat the Scoop Troop and get to Superman first. She's very ambitious. And I'll get it on Flamebird. And he's very ambitious. I still think we'd be better off finding a different story. There, there are other big things happening in Metropolis besides Superman. I mean... That looks like the tech Livewire head! Livewire? That's an actually good name. With three on the loose, it's gonna get crazy. I to track down those criminals and stop them. Huh. I mean, write about them. I mean, we go to write... Uh, <laughs> Uh, I love Clark's dorkiness and just him, his quick cover-ups. It's just too perfect. Jack Quaid does an incredible job on shifting between the Superman and Clark personas. It's amazing. With sci-fi weapons and a Superman becoming the norm, what is next for Metropolis? A clash between Batman later? I don't know. Stand back. I don't know. Are you sure you could be able to work any of this is the question. Whoa! Not the fish! Not the fish, man! It's getting out of control. You guys don't even know what you're doing, do you? You guys don't even know what you're They've doing. Down on us our whole lives. Who? People? Or society? We are about to get the respect we deserve. You don't get respect that way. Is this supposed to be like a group that's from the comics? I don't know much of DC. How to convince them to let three interns talk to the warden. That's going to be a big deal. Reveal the government secret metahuman soldier program on Flamebird. No. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Not yeah, probably not. <gasps> you stole their badges? No. Yeah. I borrowed them. No, you stole them. <laughs> Secretly. You stole when them. They weren't looking. That's stealing. That's the definition of stealing. Right. Fine. I'm not doing this. Yeah. Fine. Then we can go back and brainstorm how to interview Superman. He's going along with it. We're the Daily Planet Star News team. Cat Grant human interest. If it's not real news, then tell me all about it. Okay. Ronnie Drew. Investigative journalist. A little patronizing, but mostly professional. Okay. Steve. <laughs> Sports. <laughs> in a way you can kind of like make them to be like the calmer versions of those three cops are outside stop using our real names wait is that a camera are you that stupid oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god you guys are so stupid we don't like to bring attention to ourselves uh-huh you literally Pirouetted into my office two seconds ago. Yeah. Oh, I can't let the press waltz through my prison. There's protocols, as you know. Yeah, there's always protocols to everything. Planet reporters are already here. Uh-oh. Oh, great. Here we go. Or we investigate the site of the breakout. But the door's locked. Unless someone had the warden's key card. Oh, look. Oh, man. Was that a smile? No, of uh, course not. Uh-huh. Uh I'm very perturbed by your action. Yeah, that's a good cover-up. Okay, okay, so that's the cell. Okay, that could give us a clue to where they might be going next, and let's do it fast. Yeah, let's let's really do it quick. Wait. Oh, no. Okay, and bring them back here. Oh, great. We know Siobhan wants to do something big. Mm-hmm. What? Probably... Probably rob a bank? That's a bank. I knew it. I knew it. Siobhan wants respect. That means it's going to have to be the biggest financial center in the city. Oh, great. The, the Metropolitan, Metropolitan City, city Bank. Bank. Why was I thinking Gotham for some weird reason? It's all going down in the next 15 minutes. They need to stop them. Or, well, Superman needs to stop them. That's pretty freaky. 
I mean, it's pretty powerful at this point, but still, it's kind of freaky. Oh, man. I hate to say it, but that's kind of a smart way of doing it. But at the same time, wouldn't they... Well, wouldn't they have already seen what's going on? I don't know. Either way, all of this is really reckless and very stupid. All of it's just reckless and stupid, despite everything. Yep, that's an anime reference right there. Come on, let's get this and go! Relax, Mist. This isn't like the smash and grabs we did before. This time... We have everything under control. Oh, no. Uh, one of them. Uh, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I'll call the authorities. And we'll go get captured. What? Wait, what? Right. You call for help. Jimmy and I will get taken hostage. And then Superman will come and save us. That's when we'll get our interview with him. This was your plan the whole time? Uh, to find trouble, then ambush Superman when he flies in? That sounds like a very stupid plan, in a way. on purpose? Uh, uh, that sounds like it. Whoa! There we go. Get to safety. There we go. Ah, what a landing! For the well-being of the people of Metropolis, I need you to unfreeze everyone. I like that he doesn't want to fight people. That's such a Superman thing to do, and I love it. Oh! You might want to rethink that again, buddy. Superman's stronger than you. Ooh, yep. Oh, great. You guys are really, really bad at working as a team, huh? The, the authorities are going to get right on you soon enough. Come on. Think of some sort of plan. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 You idiot. What? What's that? What is that? Whoa. 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 Woo. Oh, shoot. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, things are about to get really bad. Oh, man. This is crazy. Oh, well, she's frozen. Come on! This should be the best time to use your heat vision. Wait, is, was he also using his x-ray vision, too? Oh! Woo! There we go! Great idea. Finally! Oh! Come on! Come on! Oh! What? Whoa! What was that all about? There we go. And once again, Superman saved the day. I took out the machine causing this, but the people in the back got hit hard. They need help. Oh, wait. Is that... Oh, is that Deathstroke? Oh, uh, no. I understand you want an interview, Miss Lane. Oh. What do you say we take this interview elsewhere? Yeah, let's do so. I'd say... Hold on. Yeah, there you go. Is this how you see the world? Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, that means something else too, Clark. Come on. I know that you like her. It's pretty obvious. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. Um, um sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's all right. I'm, I'm nervous too. <laughs> then why agree to this? Ah! Because when I told you and Jimmy to save yourselves, you stayed to help others. If you can face down a city destroying freeze ray, I think I can answer a couple of questions. That's a pretty good answer on that on his behalf. It's a really good answer on his behalf. Where do you come from? I don't know. How do your powers work? I'm still figuring that out. Who are you? What are you? Still trying to figure that I'm out too. Kind of figuring that out too. Miss right. Lane, the truth is, I'm still piecing together who I am and what I can do. But at the end of the day, I'm here to help the people of Metropolis. Uh, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's so not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> nice save. Sorry, I didn't tell you my plan to interview Superman. Uh. I put you in danger because of it, and I... It's okay, Lois. I know how important this is for you. And I promise, from here on out, I'll do whatever I can to help you get that interview. Interesting. I just got it. Uh. Wow! 
you got the interview. Uh. That's incredible. I I knew you'd get it. <laughs> so, what'd you think of Superman? <laughs> Pretty great guy, right? Uh. He's a liar. Oh. Uh. Great. What? 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 After all that, now you call him a liar. Wow. You got to be out of your mind. You got to be out of your mind. How could you say a thing like that? Really? Okay. Lois, I'm actually disappointed in you on this one. Because, I mean, look at what you almost did. Clark, I mean, I, I'm kind of a little ashamed at you. Because, like, you still keep falling for, like, the things that Lois is doing. I mean, sure, she's an attractive woman. And, of course, that she has the right ambitions. But, I mean, come on. I think that if somebody's trying to use you or is trying to do something to make you do something against your will. I say that that's a red flag. I say that... I honestly, I think that Lois, she represents a green flag and a red flag. She's like a yellow flag, uh, an in-betweener. Or you could say like an orange-yellow flag. <sighs> I mean, the thing is, is that I admire her ambitions, at least trying to get the interview and get the story. But she's going in these different ambitious ways that it's going to be risking them. Sure. I understand that that's Lois's characteristics and that's also a part of her character. But I mean, realistically, in real life, if you're going to be with somebody that's going to keep using you for their own intentions, whether if it's good or if it's bad, I think that that's just a signal that a person can be manipulative. Now, I am most likely going to change my opinions on Lois after this because to be realistic, again, I have seen the first season but it's been a while, and on top of it, I think that as I watch it this time in preparation for season two, I want to be able to have a better understanding of the characters before I go into season two. So I have to treat this like if this is the first time that I'm watching it because... I haven't really paid attention to it the first time I saw it. So now, as I'm reacting to them, I want to have the better chance of getting to form a better opinion about it. I'm definitely wanting to pay more attention to how she behaves on the things that she's wanting to do. And it's just going to be a, a little bit of a journey for me to just get to a standard conclusion to where I'm wanting to take this. Anyways, I love the episode and I'm loving that with each episode as I remember that, you know, Clark is trying to use his newly awakened abilities, even though he's had a dormant in him. And I love that it's with each episode, he's trying to be more and more like the Kryptonian that he was born as. And I really, really love that. If you can kind of consider that the title, My Adventures of Superman, is kind of instead of it being in her perspective or in Lois's or Jimmy's perspective, it's I could see it more as a title in reference to Clark himself of his adventures of superman as it's his adventures of him finding himself as to who superman is who kal-el is instead of like knowing who clark is he already knows who clark is but he doesn't know who kal-el is he doesn't know who superman is so these adventures that he goes on with lois and jimmy is like his own adventures of him with going on with superman as well as a self-discovery journey and that's what i love about the title i find it as a metaphor for a personal experience but anyways either way it's it's a great show and i absolutely love that we're getting these different types of episodes and we're getting to see this side of superman that i don't think that we've seen before or i could be wrong because there's also the live action superman shows there's other live action superman movies and animated Superman shows and movies that I have not watched. Again, I'm not that much of a DC fan. I might give them a try, but also at the same time, I really don't know if I'm really going to do so. But maybe I'll change my mind, but who knows? Anyways, I want to say thank you guys for watching my reaction to My Adventures of Superman Season 1, Episode 3. If you guys love this reaction and you want to see more videos like this, then please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on any of my social medias, you guys can follow me on my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Twitter, aka my X profile, my Discord, and my Discord server, and on TikTok with all the links in the description below. And without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you all. Stay safe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.